Look at you, walking tall. Nice to meet you. I'm Micah Ten of the Six Coyotes. <laughs> I'm used to ranging far and wide, but this whole new frontier, huh? <laughs> Feels right to be where we are, though. You might know I shepherd on partner ghosts looking for guardians. I came to the Pale Heart following some of my flock who felt called here. Now some of them have gone missing. This is a dangerous place in its current state. The witness has done a real number on it. My friend Lee swears up and down the traveler's hurt. That we've got to help it. It's not such a surprising conclusion to come to when you look at it. My charges were pretty twisted up about it last I saw them. They want to heal the traveler too, but a ghost isn't meant to be alone. So here's my ask. You help me track down the ghosts who haven't come back. We solve whatever trouble they've gotten into. And then, if we are very good and a little lucky, maybe we help the traveler while we're out there. This war has gone on so long. And despite all the battles we've won, we've never been so close to losing everything. If there's any chance this can help the traveler, I need your help, Guardian. It's been a long time since I was in the EDZ. Standing in the shadow of the Traveler's Shard always made me feel... small. Lost. I feel the same thing. We should... talk about that sometime, Micah. Right now, to find Diana. You're right. About counts. It looks like Diana's signal is coming from the reservoir. I'm detecting a massive spike in Taken. I think they've moved back into the dam. Interesting. I lived inside the dam for a while after I was risen. To get away from Spider and the shore. That's where the Traveler started sending me visions in my dreams. Ones that led me to rebuild Hawkmoon. To find the Radiant Exhibitor. I read about that. It's a jump ship, right? Yeah. There's a rusted old clunker sitting in a hidden hangar. But then the Traveler... Acted and changed the ship, redesigned it, rebuilt it. For you? Well, no. I let the Guardian use it when you need to. Sounds like a metaphor. Just like rebuilding Hawkmoon was. But you had a new purpose. I would take you far away from here. I guess that explains why the ship doesn't have any conventional controls. Sometimes you have to just strap yourself in and hope for the best. Sometimes. Taken present is receiving, but I'm picking up a number of spatial anomalies. The final shape is distorting things here, just like it was elsewhere. It's reached Earth. I found Diana's trail. I think she's headed into the dark forest, in the shadow of the Shard of the Traveler. Then we follow her. We don't have any time to waste.
Oh, beautiful. Did you get that? Hang on a moment. Oh, darling, that... The final shape has reached Earth. We're running out of time. I knew we might reach this point eventually, but seeing it is something else entirely. But we're not ready to move against the witness. The Traveler isn't ready. Oh, we may not have time. We only get one shot at defeating the witness. We have to make it our best. were awakened on the moon. Feels like an eternity ago, but I know it was only a few years. So much has happened since then. You're telling me. You know, as much as things keep changing, it's nice to know that some places are still the same desolate, horrible little hellholes that you remember. Vicariously enjoying the Guardian's hard work? Honestly, I, I am a little. I'm gonna miss this place. You talk like you don't intend to stay. I'm just being realistic. We might not all walk away from the fight that's coming. Then, when I write my next letter to the Traveler, I'll be sure to thank it for the time we were given. Oh, man. This guy? Come on, Guardian. Put one in his belly for me. signs that Link was here. It looks like he was examining the nightmares, scanning them. Maybe he was trying to figure out where they come from. Oh, we already know that, Kate. We figured that out years ago. They're not much of a threat anymore. Oh, yeah, I... Right. No, that makes sense. That's, uh... Good work, everybody. Kate. Hey, no worries. Just, uh... Playing catch up here with all the thrilling revelations. Where to next? I've got a rough idea of Link's location. He's deeper inside the moon. Come on, let's go find him.
Oh, beautiful. Did you get... Link was always Thara to a fault. Glad to see nothing's changed there. The final shape spreading to the moon isn't a surprise. But that it's hitting the hive as hard as anyone else? Guess there really is nowhere safe. No promise or allegiance that can save you. And the hive want this. I'm looking forward to punching the witness in each of its stupid faces. But, ah, uh, one thing at a time, I guess. I'll let you know when I know more. I checked in with Shahan and he said that Peach came through asking some odd questions. She was looking for directions to the old hive nest that the wizard Navoda took over after Omnigul died. It's been quiet for a long time though. But Shah also shared some reports with me that he saw loose and hive scouts in the vicinity a few weeks back. Finding Peach is our first priority, but if you find anything else, I trust you to take care of it. In the meantime, I need to take care of some injured ghosts that were just brought in. I'll check back soon. was dead. Dead for a long time now. So for her to be here, there's only a handful of possibilities. On the one hand, it could be an illusion. Savathun masking a hive wizard in order to infiltrate her sister's ranks and sow discord. On the other, it could be necromancy. But there's too many variables to know. Peach was definitely onto something, though. I'm picking up a latent light signature from Peach. I think we can follow it to where she is. Good work, Guardian. Bring her back safe and sound. Oh, beautiful. Did you get that? Peach was lucky to get out of that situation with only a few dents and dings. The world outside of the Pale Heart is transforming. We got no room for error now. I'll get Peach set up in a cleansing team here in the Pale Heart. I'll contact you when I have telemetry on another ghost. Stay safe, Guardian. So I found telemetry for Bean. He's a handful, always rushing off into hostile territory. He and I tend to cross paths on... Oh, beautiful. So I found telemetry for Bean. He's a handful, always rushing off into hostile territory. Oh, beautiful. So I found telemetry for Bean. He's a handful, always rushing off into hostile territory. He and I tend to cross paths on remote scouting missions, so the fact that his beacon pinged from Nessus shouldn't surprise me. But that's what I like about him. No fear, no hesitation. Being just plows through. We need that kind of energy here. 
We'll make sure he didn't get caught in a temporal loop or some other Vex nonsense. I'll keep an eye on things here. Nessus. I spent a lot of time out here mapping the Vex network access points with the Coyotes. I know this place like the back of my hand. Hey, me too! I mean, I did less mapping and more, you know, getting trapped. Oh, I should say something to failsafe, tell her hi or something. I thought you weren't going to be doing a sentimental tour. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just, you know, one or two letters won't hurt. She deserves as much. As for our wayward ghost, I've tracked Bean into the inside terminus. We should look for him there. Hey, I know that place. Failsafe loves it. Well, she'll be happy to know some of her old friends up here, too. I'm picking up a detachment of Red Legion landing in the vicinity now. Okay, I know I've been out of the loop, but the Red Legion? They're gone, right? They're, like, gone, gone? Sort of. Their leadership is. Which means this is either a Red Legion warlord acting on his own, or they answer to the Shadow Legion. I don't like either option. Wait, that's... that's Carvey. That's impossible. He's dead. Yeah, well, sometimes that doesn't stick. Follow him. We need to find out what he's doing here. There's no doubt about it, that's Cargan. And he's trying to tap into the Vex network again. I hate to say it, but this might answer a long-standing question I had about Cabal cloning programs. Apparently, they can clone Scions. Wait, this guy's a clone? Gee, it died for just a little while. Nessus. It should be easy to follow him. As for what Karkin's clone was doing here, it looks like he was trying to access Vex data on Oxa again. That's the Scion prediction machine, right? Sees the future in branching paths? Future War Cult has something similar. Based on what I'm seeing here, I... I can't be sure they aren't the same thing. The same design. But I don't know how that's possible. Cargan was trying to access the soul device of his research on the Veil as well. I don't understand how all these things are connected. But I can tell where the orders are coming from. A scion named Atzat. And these orders are recent. I think there might be defector branches within the Shadow Legion. One's not loyal to the witness. And they're trying to pin down potential outcomes. Make plans for what? The event of our success? Maybe. But it looks like something blocked them. But I... I don't know how that's possible. Why? What stopped Cargan? If this log is correct, Maya Sunderesh did. Maya? Well, why does that name sound so familiar? Why don't you and I talk about that offline, Kate? Let the Guardian and Ghost track down Bean. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that sounds good.
Oh, beautiful. Did you get that? I'm glad you were able to rescue Bean. He's going to be a great asset to healing the Traveler. I can't help but be worried about what you found while searching for him. I thought the Scion defector sided with the witness. But it's looking more and more like that may be a deception. There's something else going on here. Something we're going to have to tackle head-on in the future, if we're lucky. Welcome back. I've got another ghost telemetry for you. This time it's Akasha. She's an unpartnered ghost that has been systematically scanning Awoken territory for years. I got a lock on her beacon in the Dreaming City, probably still trying to find her guardian. I need you to head out and find Akasha and bring her back safe and sound. I look forward to your return. I've got a read on Akasha's location, but her light signature here isn't a straight trail like the others. It cuts in and out. She's probably skipping through the ascendant plane. Hold on. Glint and I devised some sensor modulations to help track between planes. Sending it to you now. Thanks, Glint. This is the same path Glint and I took hunting down Zebu Rath's high celebrant all those years ago. It's familiar territory. Then hopefully we'll be able to find Akasha before anything happens to her. Akasha's signal winds through here. I think she was analyzing the ley lines, looking for something. I'm seeing some alarming things in your feed. There's a lot of movement in the ley lines, high transfer rates of matter. The moment I turn my back, this has to be the work of Zivu Roth. Far as I can tell, she didn't join the witness, which means she's playing us against each other. I suppose it only makes sense. If the witness succeeds, she will cease to exist as she is. But if it fails, we will be weakened from our war. Vulnerable. <laughs> Micah, I found Akasha's beacon. She's not too far away in the Dreaming City. That's wonderful news. While you've been working, Crow and I have been going over the data from your feed. Zivu Arath is moving Hive through the Ascendant Plane en masse. With Mara focused on holding back the final shape, they've gone unnoticed. Hopefully when you find Akasha, she'll have more to say on the subject. Good work, Guardian.
So this is interesting. Akasha returned some analytics from her scans of the Dreaming City's ley lines, and it's troubling. There's hive activity surging through the Ascendant Plain. Zivu Arath's brood. And as far as I can tell, she's a no-show here. Which means she's cut her losses from the witness. But that also means she's planning something else. If we make it out of this alive, I've got a bad feeling there'll be another war waiting for us on the horizon. Nothing we can do about that right now, though. Get back out there. One apocalypse at a time. Mars. Of course Citrine would be on Mars. She's been obsessed with Warmind hardware for a long time. I don't know how many times Anna had to tell her she wasn't going to build her a combat frame to ride in. Just so she could have arms to beat a hive with. Citrine means well, but we need her here. Be careful out there, Guardian. Guardian. The situation on Mars is dire. As the final shape presses into this world, it tears the already fragile time rifts apart at the seams. Portions of the Warmind facility are now operating both in and out of our time, as moments are compressed together. While I have seen no signs of the Warmind himself, the automated security that should be defunct is now... very active. Worse. Zivu Arath has dispatched forces back to Mars to investigate the time rifts. We can't have her retrieving any functional Warmind tech from here. While our goal is finding Citrine, we need to make sure that Zivu Arath's forces get nothing from this place. like something that is alive, breathing. There is no sign of the war mind, for good or ill. I should be able to have this rift sealed, even if temporarily. I will dispatch my tech units to assist in the matter shortly. <laughs> Thank you for all that you do, Your Majesty. Thank you, Mara. Now, let's go get Citrine. Citrine is so sweet. She profusely apologized for her delay in arrival and tried to hide the fact that she was stripping the Warmind bunker for parts. I've put her with a patrol of ghosts to help expunge the Witness's corruption, and she's taken right to it. And with any luck, 
she'll put her analytical mind to expediting the process. Citrine is brilliant, like a laser, and all she needs is a little focus. I have new ghost telemetry for you, but a word of warning on this one. Anwar is a ghost who has been through a lot. He was once a close confidant of the Speaker. After the Speaker died, Anwar began to question his connection to the Light, and began seeking out the truth about darkness. Anwar believes that darkness is an intrinsic universal force that must be tended to like a garden, lest it grow unruly. But do not let Anwar's beliefs cast a shadow of doubt on his allegiances. He's an unwavering ally, but one who questions everything. His telemetry data leads me to believe he may be inside the pyramid on Europa. I don't know what you'll find there. Be safe, Guardian. Aligned forces. This could be more about the people. I heard rumors of some fracturing after Callus's death, but I don't know what to make of this. Well, some people feel more comfortable with a leash around their neck, whether it's guiding them to behave or misbehave. Okay. Did you ever figure out who was flying this? Crow gave me a lowdown on the situation, and that part was, you know, suspiciously blank. We did not. Kate, do you remember anything from your first EXO incarnation? Some. I ain't exactly happy to talk about what I do, either. Was there a child? I think. I don't know. I remember bits and pieces. Shadows of faces. It's all... It's all a jumble, Michael. Why? It's nothing. It can wait for a more private moment. Having a hard time picking up Anwar's signal. It stops here, at the statue. Oh. Oh, no. Micah, what's wrong? Elsie just... found him. <clears throat> Shards of him. Anwar. The ziggurat. I... No. He's dead? We should go collect his remains. We'll go right away. I'm so sorry, Micah. <sighs> Me too, Ghost. Hey, kid. 
Why don't I come down and meet you? We can chat about whatever. Anything your pick. Thank you, Kate. I've never told anyone this, but I knew Kate before he was a guardian, before I was a guardian. We were both on Europa before the collapse. I found out about it after the Braytech facilities on Europa were unearthed. I know guardians aren't supposed to go digging into their past, but I did. I found my ExoMind archive. I found myself. <sighs> Micah Abram. I grew up on Europa, and even then I was struggling to understand my identity in so many ways. As a child, I was having dreams, visions sent to me by the Traveler. I didn't understand them then, but I do now. It was preparing me for this, for loss, for losing people like Anwar, like Kate. Kate was the personal bodyguard of an Ishtar collective researcher named Maya Sundarish. He was an exo before I entered the program. He helped me. When my fathers were away on work, Kate would talk to me. Play cards. Teach me how to cope with isolation. Kate doesn't remember. And that's okay. I can hug him one last time and remind him that he was missed. That he saved. Found the general location of Hai Lung. She's another member of the Watchful Eye. Turns out Hai Lung was sent on a long-term recon operation inside Savathun's throne world. But that was over a year ago. There's been no contact with Hai Lung since, and I don't know what to expect. The Hidden provided me with her last known coordinates. We'll have to start there and see what we can find. Telemetry we have for Hylum goes deep into Savathun's throne world. And I mean deep. It is a palace of insidious illusions. Whatever you see, Guardian, do not trust it on the surface. Good news is, with Savathun gone and focused on the Pale Heart, her defenses are minimal. So we should be able to slip in and out easier than usual. 
one wrong move, though, and the whole of the loosened hive could come crashing down upon your head. Can anybody clue me in on exactly why the Traveler gave Sabathun the light? Because nobody's really explained that to me in a way that doesn't make me angry. Because they'd already been chosen. Long before humanity even existed, the Traveler chose the progenitors of the Hive, the Krill, to come to its side. And then the Witness interposed itself between them, turned the three siblings against their own people. All for a lie. But they're not those people anymore. Sabato... I mean, look at all the hurt she's caused. That ain't fair. That ain't right. And therein lies the truth of the Traveler. It is not always fair, it is not always right. But it does want our survival. And in that, we are one. Yeah. Yeah, it sees our potential. I couldn't abandon it. And that feels right in my head, it just doesn't feel right in my heart. That sounds a lot like life. Both of mine. Hylung's location. She's still here in the throne room. In fact, I think she was watching us. Hylung? I think she fled ahead of us. It shouldn't be too hard to track her down once we get out of here.
Savathun's throne world is a labyrinth of lies. I'm not convinced we've seen all of it yet, and neither is Hailoom. We'll have Hailoom out here in the field soon enough, and the intel she's gathered on the Lucent Hive will be a major boon to us. If what Hailoom has already told me is correct, Savathun has aligned her brood against the witness. But she's hedging her bets. She has some other plan in the works, something she intends to action on after the witness is defeated. She thinks its defeat is inevitable. I should be inspired by that vote of confidence, but coming from her? Nah. I'll let you know when I have more ghost telemetry to follow up on Guardian. Great work out there. Guardian, I have telemetric data for the ghost Balthazar. He's an old friend of Peach, the first ghost you recruited. Balthazar is a scholar ghost like Anwar, but usually not as daring in field work. Which makes my discovery of his telemetric data on the moon all the more concerning. If Balthazar has gone to the moon, he must have good reason, but we need him here. We need every ghost we can find. Please, bring him back and make sure he's safe. afraid of this. The reason I was unable to pinpoint Balthazar's location is because it is smothered in darkness. He's in the pyramid, isn't he? Unfortunately, yes. You'll need to fight through the hive to get to the pyramid, then brave its security system. Nightmares. I thought after we killed Nezarek that they'd go away. But they haven't. The pyramid must be partially responsible for them too. Harris wrote extensive documentation on nightmares after her last encounter with them. She and I believe that they are a yet untapped power of the darkness. One that Nazareth co-opted for himself and wove into the fabric of his pyramid. So even after his death, they persist. Which raises a larger question. Is Nazareth truly dead? Can something that exists as an idea ever be destroyed? One nightmare at a time, Micah. Please. The last time we entered the pyramid like this, the witness spoke through me. Now, I don't feel it at all. It's strange. I once felt the witness's presence so overwhelming here, but now it's hardly a whisper. The pyramid feels different. Abandoned. Hungry. Or, no, yearning. Like it has a mind of its own. And it misses having a master. The Witness's presence in the Pale Heart has made our actions go unseen. It is vulnerable, and perhaps that is what Balthazar was exploiting. Why he came here? How many times do we have to kill you? One day. Crow is going to find you and end you. For Eris. For everyone in her fire team you killed. For every guardian and ghost cut down in the great disaster. Their faith is shattered, and they will look to you for guidance, for truth. No. How, how is it here? I... wait. So the seeds of discord that will pave the way for our victory. Preach under their greatest the truth of the darkness. 
for them to see beyond the veil. This is no. This is some kind of recording. A memory. Go forth, misery. And show them the power of the veil. The dark of the deep. The edge of the night. This must be what Balthazar was trying to find. Information on the witness recorded in an artifact. I can sense Balthazar's location. It's good to have Balthazar back. When he learned of Anwar's passing, I saw a fire in him unlike any before. He has already departed to join other ghosts in healing the Traveler. We're fortunate to have his strength at our side again. But I know Anwar's death weighs heavily on him. He will heal, in time, as the Traveler will. There's also the matter of the Archive Balthazar found. I've only just started to examine it, but it feels dense with information. Nothing in the archive is recorded as words, more experiences and emotions. It's going to take a long time to investigate. Excellent work, Guardian. I've been observing the energy coming from the Traveler and... It's not good. While we've been doing everything we can to heal the Traveler, the Witness's push to complete the final shape hasn't slowed. I have one ghost left for us to find, and then we can't afford to lose any more time. I'm sending you to find Hecate, a scholar in Hive lore, who once studied under Tolan the Shatters in Eris Moor. Hecate was investigating a rumor that members of House Dusk were moving back into the old House of Devils territory in the Cosmodrome. The House of Devils have been gone for a long time, though. There has to be something else going on. Good hunting, Guardian. Hey, Micah. Looks like you owe me. I called it. Devil's Lair. I never took that bet. It's the principle of the thing, but it makes sense that a ghost lost in the Cosmodrome might be sneaking around there. And it looks like a few things have changed since the last time I was out that way. The House of Devils is gone, but remnants of House Dusk are gathering there. Elixni communications are bristling with talk about a new Prime Servitor. See, that's big news. There ain't a lot of Prime Servitors left, unless it's a third jankier Sepix. Hecate is down there, Guardian. And whatever is going on, we need to get her back. There's a lot of firepower on the field here. Just like old times. Don't know who's bankrolling this, but whoever they are, they got a heck of an arsenal. Those are house salvation breaks out there, but they're not flying the house's colors. Pirates, maybe. We're close. Hecate was here, but I'm not picking her up locally. But I did just detect the catch launch. It was house salvation. But I thought they had rallied at the Pale Heart to serve the witness. Maybe mean old Space Lobster Aramis didn't buy into the whole embrace the end of time's cult after all. Yeah, I think I recognize some of those guys. Before they exploded. Renegades from the House of Wolves. 
I think we might have interrupted an arms deal. These house dusk fellas offering Aramis a prime servitor in exchange for weapons. If that's the case, it means Aramis is more ether starved than the dust refugees and pirates. And that means she's not with the witness either. If House Dusk was willing to give Aramis a prime servitor, that means there must be another. Or they have an alternative supply of ether. A problem for another day, I suppose. Hecate was here. I've narrowed down her location to... To your birthplace, Guardian. Looks like we ended the beginning. Kind of poetic. Good work, Guardian. We'll reconvene when you return with Hecate. Hecate is back with us, and not a moment too soon. Whatever was happening in the old devil's lair will need to wait. The vanguard are rallying our forces together for the final push. I've sent Hecate out to aid with healing the Traveler, but... <sighs> There's not much time left. I can feel the tension here winding to a breaking point. I can feel the universe cracking under the strain. The final shape is upon us, and I can only pray that we've done enough to fight back against it. It's time to mobilize. Eyes up, Guardian. <laughs> 